Hey, I'm Brent Arnold. I'm here at 343 Labs. I'm going to be creating an evolving complex synth pad sound um, using alchemy and logic. This stuff also applies to a lot of other synths that have a similar layout, massive wavetable in Ableton. It's basic synth technique. All right, so I'm going to bring up an instance of alchemy here. This is just on the default sound. We can see what that sounds like. Fair enough. Let's, the first thing we're going to do is go to advanced and we're going to initialize this preset. We're starting from scratch with just a saw wave there. Uh, that's going to sound like this right now. Very raw. Um, so we've just got a saw in, in source A. Let's filter this down, first of all. If you want to see what that sounds like, or rather looks like when I'm filtering this. We're filtering out those high frequencies, right? Something like that. We will be bringing them back, but in a more interesting way, hopefully. Let's start with a little LFO. That shows up here in the modulation rack, and I turn up the depth to have it controlled by LFO1. There we go. I'd like it to be affected by the envelope as well. This is an AHSDR, or AHDSR envelope, rather. Let's get this so we have a little That way it fades in a little bit on the course of that filter. Now let's make this a little more interesting. We're going to go into the more advanced parameters of source A. I'm going to thicken this up with some unison. These unison voices are detuned right here. One fun rule when you're just playing and creating sounds is to turn a knob and if it does something interesting try and think about which way you want that knob to go i'm going to try i feel like this being open and very detuned is a nice start and it can tighten up throughout the sound right this is a good place for an m seg this is a multi-segment envelope Let's turn up the depth on that. I actually wanted it to go the other direction. Let's do this. Let's see what these voices would sound like. Maybe they're going to go the opposite direction. Let's try that. I'm going to use the same MSEG. That evolving sound is what I'm going for. Alright, I like it. Now sync is the next aspect. On a lead, sync is going to, a lot of times, create something really aggressive, but here it can just bring out some really kind of angelic, higher frequencies, higher partials. I like that as a sort of slowly evolving thing. Let's give it a slow LFO. Um, yeah, this is the new LFO. I'm going to take the rate down here. A little much. You can see the range it's moving in. Ah, this is restarting. I'm, I don't want this one to re-trigger. I want it to just run freely. I'm going to set the trigger to off. There we go. All right, one more aspect. I'm going to create a noise sound here, but I'm going to do it in in uh, oscillator B. I'm going to turn off the oscillator and just use a noise here. 
as you hear, as you're about to hear, this is just some noise. Um, white noise. Let's switch it out for have a little ocean roar. Um, it's going through the filter right now. I don't want it to. I'm going I'm to open it right up. But let's add a modulation here. Um, the MSEG will work if we reverse it. There we go. I'm going to get rid of that low rumble a little bit. And let's add one more element to this. We haven't used the sequencer yet. The sequencer is very fun with a noise sound like this. I'm going to set a sort of um, polyrhythm here. I'm going for a little three against four, right? So I've got a strong note, a weak one, and kind of a middle one. If I shorten these up a little, sounds kind of crazy, right? Um, tell you what, let's throw a little bit of the uh, panning on this one. We'll we'll put that with a, a new LFO. Great. Move that around a little bit. Let's bring back in sound A. There we go. All of that in one uh, synth patch. And let's hear it all together. There we go. So there's a lot you can do with uh, just simple modulations, routing them through all these uh, control signals that each have their own variations. And then you can get into routing the control signals into other control signals. Uh, that's for next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Brent Arnold, an instructor at 343 Labs.